What's up guys? Welcome back to Almond Censored. If you're new to this channel, what's up? I'm Maddie. And if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell button to make sure you get notifications whenever I post a new video. I am rocking just the mascara look today because I have been running around like a mad woman because I am doing something that I've been wanting to do all summer, but I finally have the time to do it. I am surprising my best friend who has been interning in Ohio all summer. I have not seen her since June when I drove to Pittsburgh to meet her for a Luke Bryan concert. Oh my God, I miss this girl with my entire heart and soul. Like anyone who has a best friend, like a genuine true best friend, knows the feeling that I'm feeling right now being separated from her for so, so long. And I, I just know I'm gonna cry the second I see her. And this whole started because I was like, okay, you know what? No, I have the time, I have the money, I have the means to get there. I'm going to do this. So I Facebook messaged a couple of her roommates and they were like, okay, yeah, she'll be back from California road tripping, blah, 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 blah. That'll be good, we can do it. We'll send you her work schedule when we get it. I'm like, cool, thanks, awesome. They sent me that, I have that. I know I'm good to visit her this weekend where it's not like, oh, she's gonna be working the whole time. And then I also Facebook messaged her boyfriend, Josh. I have not met him yet, she met him there. So. Right now he's he's doing good. He, he's got my stamp of approval at the moment because he's helping me full-fledged with a surprise. I was expecting to have to get a hotel and all that stuff, but he was nice enough to open his home up to me because there's a spare bedroom. And basically my friend's been living there for the most part. Thank you so much, Josh. Okay, so Josh and I are setting a lot of things up. He talked to her mom, so I'm gonna be running to her place to get a bunch of homemade food for her. Um, and a whole bunch of other Polish treats that are her favorites because she's Polish. She grew up in a Polish household with parents from Poland. So she hasn't been able to have that in Ohio. So Josh reached out to her mom. Her mom reached out to me. I'm going to go pick everything up. I'm so excited because I love her mother. Love her. Her whole family is awesome. I'm going to get authentic Philly cheesesteaks because let's be honest, like I'm coming from this area. Like I really should be bringing some taste of home with her. Um, I'll be bringing her favorite coffee order. I got her um, a bottle of vodka for her birthday because I missed that. So I'm hoping to get all of her reactions and that on video just because not even for the sense of views or anything. Like I honestly genuinely just want to have this video made for just like us as a friend group, like me and her as being friends, like being basically inseparable for two years at college together. And I haven't seen her in almost six months and I might start crying right here now because I miss this girl with my entire heart and soul. So without any further ado, we are going to get on this journey right now. Okay guys, so I just picked everything up from her mom. There's a lot. She gave me like three bags of food. She's gonna be so happy. It's all authentic Polish, either like from Poland or her mom made it herself. And it, I'm so excited for her. And I'm really happy that Josh called her mom to be like, hey, is this a possibility? So that's really cool. Um, now I'm getting her a little taste of home. I'm getting her authentic Philly cheesesteaks from Jim's. Um, Jim's is my favorite big chain cheesesteak place. The mom and pop shops, they, the mom and pop shops can't be beat. Like that's my, that that's where you go if you want an authentic Philly cheesesteak. I know everyone has their opinion on the big chains. If you've been to Philly and you've had a Philly cheesesteak from Pat's, Gino's, Jim, Steve's, wherever, please put that down in the description to know. I would love to know who's had what from where, but I'm gonna go in and get her these cheesesteaks now. As you can probably tell, I'm home now. I don't feel like setting up my ring light or anything of that nature. So I'm just gonna do this. I got the cheesesteaks. I got the food from her mom. I got her a few presents like for her birthday and whatnot. So I'm really excited. Now all I have to do is get packed, make sure I have everything set for tomorrow, make sure everything's loaded in my car in the morning. And then after work, I will be driving straight to Ohio. So today is the day guys. I'm officially on my way to Ohio to go see Carolina. And as an added little bonus, I'm actually making a pit stop at the old stomping grounds at Penn State to pick up our other friend Maddie 
because the three of us have just been a trio since the day we all met and it wouldn't be a complete trip without her so but carolina knows that maddie's coming i'm still a surprise she doesn't know that i'm coming but i just picked up her wawa coffee order and i got her like two of the biggest ones i could get her because she doesn't have wawa in ohio and so and that's gonna be nice for me to have someone in the car for the remainder of the time not do like a nine hour drive alone so that'll be really nice guys i don't think you understand how excited i am like this is my best best friend in this entire world and oh it's gonna be great also on top of everything else i have blocked her from my snapchat story i've stopped sharing my location on text with her and she, i guarantee i'm gonna get a text at some point being like why'd you stop sharing this up with me i was just gonna give her the excuse of oh my data like you know it was being funky it recommended that i turned everything off for 12 hours so i'll reshare it like once like the time's up but that it's always just because as of like I don't want her to know where I am because she does that just like our friend Kylie. They'll look every now and then, and just, no, I, I'm not letting this be ruined. So I'm a little bit of two hours into my drive, and go figure. I'm hungry now. So once I finally get to Maddie, we are going to get food. Hopefully there will be a Starbucks trip involved because I'm going to need caffeine for the rest of this drive. And I really don't know why I'm making eye movements because like you guys definitely cannot see my eyes behind these sunglasses. Hey guys, so I changed because driving in jeans sucks. But I got Maddie. What's Ooh. up? We are currently in a Starbucks line. So, because it's going to be needed for this four and a half hour oh, drive. Yeah. Big time. We just had the greatest guy on the drive thru thing though. Oh <laughs> my god. It was funny. He was like, Welcome to Starbucks. <laughs> How can I help you today? <laughs> Lost it. I couldn't even get the order out. I was cracking up so, so hard, but it was amazing and it was worth it. Very funny. Oh, uh, if he's at the window and do I have cash on me? Because if it's him at the window, I'm tipping him. We have to say something funny, like, in that same tone of voice. Like, hey, how are you today? <laughs> Thank you for my <laughs> drinks. Yup. <laughs> uh, but the road trip is underway. Hopefully we get there in a reasonable time to get there before she gets home so we can Hopefully. do everything. We also, we know this trend's, like, really old at this point, but, like, whatever. We're going to do it to her anyway. We stopped and we got a six pack of Smirnoff ice. Oh, hell yeah. And we're gonna ice her when she walks in the door on top <laughs> of everything. Triple surprise. Oh yeah, by the way, Maddie's here, Maddie's here, and you're getting iced, hello. <laughs> so. Oh, we gotta ice her boyfriend too. Oh yeah, we're doing that the second oh, yeah. we get there. Oh yeah. Josh, <laughs> look out, look out. <laughs> you aren't ready for this. You ain't ready for the Maddies. <laughs> Minnesota in a Minnesotan accent and I definitely just botched saying that but like <laughs> it was glorious and I've been trying ever since to get her to do it again. It's never gonna happen. It's never, never gonna happen again. Alright guys, we made it here. This is Josh. This is Caroline's What's boyfriend. Up? He is the one that I texted two weeks ago to get this all together and this in order. It's about to be epic as f Like y'all don't even know. I'm so <laughs> hyped for this Oh, oh She's so gonna many, cry. She is gonna cry. She's gonna cry. And I have to go find her the tissues and shit so she can cry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep oh, so much out. This is great. Oh, is this like, is it like sensitive? You get, I can't, you I get can't demonetized cuss. if 
You curse. Well, oh, yeah. Also, we had these little nuggets. They're not really that little, but. No, they're definitely not little. Odin! Them. They're both just that little. There's Odin. Hi, Hera. And Athena. <laughs> so at this moment in time, we're just waiting for Carolina to show up. She was supposed to be here at nine, but she just texted saying she won't be here until 9.45. This one over here said that she's not gonna be here till 10.30. So we're this both is, gonna hide. This can be epic. She's like, so what's my surprise? Cause she why doesn't do, know I'm here. Why do I have to be there at nine? I was like, cause I gotta get food for Billy. And she's like, <laughs> Billy who? I'm like, Billy the Billy Goat. Like, why are you asking me all these questions? I told you. Don't ruin the surprise for me. I set, put so much thought and planning into this, you cannot ruin the surprise. Like, if you are, you're in the doghouse. So fast. So this bitch ruined every single surprise we had and just walked in on us, so. Oh. Oh. My babies! I miss you. Oh. I'm not gonna cry, it's fine. No, you better. You're cry. No, I'm not gonna, you're gonna you gotta. Cry. I'm not gonna cry. He didn't bring me tissues, so I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, that one. Yo. She's yeah. crying. She's crying. She is. She's, she's just won't let me say it. Yes. We've missed you too. Yo, mm -hmm. <laughs> it made me cry first, and now they're <laughs> <missing me. laughs> vlogging again. Hello. So. Oh, hello. Hello, so we are going pumpkin picking now. <laughs> Maddie, come on. Oh, it's cool. Wait, are you there? <laughs> now that we got pumpkins, we are at Cedar Point. Uh, and Josh is literally carrying everyone's Hi. purse in a backpack right now. <laughs> I love that you're so down for vlogging. Most guys are like, get that camera out of my face. <laughs> I have a hood. Apparently it was hailing earlier too. Yes, it was hailing, so all the other rides are down right now. Hey, like I said, Ohio weather is bipolar. <laughs> you always know it's gonna rain, you just don't know when and for how long. It's like Florida. It's worse than Florida. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah. She's gonna try and force me to get on rides that I do not want to go on. <laughs> but so. you will, cause you came here for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Maddie's like Snapchatting us, vlogging being that people. She's on her phone. And then we picked up Jake here. Oh, there's five of us. Also, it got cold as hell. So like, we got sweatshirts, cause holy <laughs> shit. And people are staring at me vlogging right now, so I feel really uncomfortable, oh my God, but I it's fine. Chainsaw. Okay, so we're down with the parks, cause it's cold, it's raining, we're over it. Josh made a deal with us that if we didn't try to get him on any roller coasters at all, or even try to pressure him, he would shave his face. Well, guess who won the bet? <laughs> Alright guys, so that concludes the vlog for this weekend. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!